Blazer outfit ideas. How to style blazers and look effortlessly chic. The humble blazer has long been a capsule wardrobe staple for me. Over the past few years, regardless of the season, I always have at least a couple on my rail. So today I will be sharing how to style blazers and how versatile they really can be. Outfit ideas that are easy to recreate, comfy to wear and will hopefully leave you feeling effortlessly chic and stylish. I've also just received some beautiful new jewellery from Monica Vinida, so I shall be sharing what I chose and how I'd style them throughout this video. So let's get started. I read an article in Vogue at the start of this year talking about the supermodel's love of the jeans and blazer uniform. There was Kate Moss, Naomi Campbell, Alec Weck and Kai Gerber all wearing this default uniform at some point. So I wanted to start these blazer outfit ideas today with this really easy look, which I'm imagining all of you have in some shape or form in your wardrobe already. Take one pair of favorite jeans, add a white t-shirt and a belt, and finish with a classic blazer. Now obviously this look does not require the blazer to be black, nor do the jeans need to be blue, but I think the allure of this look is down to the simplicity of those four pieces. Try not to overcomplicate it more than that. All of those individual elements are classic staples, but when paired together, it's the overall quality that really stands out to me. So firstly, I opted for daytime chic with my loafers, probably how I would wear it the most. But imagine you've worn this to the office and you're heading out for drinks afterwards. Just a simple switch out of your loafers for heels can make this outfit work just as well for the evening as it does for the day. You absolutely don't need to be dripping in designer clothes to look effortlessly chic. Simple tweaks and introducing the right fabrics are sometimes all it takes. On a I think it's safe to say blazers are probably one of the hardest working pieces in most women's wardrobes. And with them being one of the biggest fashion trends for 2022, I'm imagining my cost per wear will be minuscule by the season's end. So this next outfit idea is based on a couple of pieces that I've just switched back onto my rail for spring, namely these tailored linen trousers, which coincidentally are such a bestseller, they've just come back in stock for another year. I've linked everything in the description box below. As you can see, I've styled them very simply with a light toned t-shirt with a bit of a marl effect, which just adds a bit of depth. A sprinkle of gold jewelry, my new favorite loafers, and my muted clay toned blazer to add that all important polish. When I did work in the city, I pretty much always wore trainers with outfits like this, and then I would switch them out once I arrived. But as you can see, that look works just as nice too for that easy everyday feel. So whichever your preference really with loafers or trainers, just keeping within that gentle palette seems to work nicely. Don't forget to let me know your favorite outfit idea you think you will be copying in the comment section below as we go along. Will you be styling yours classically with jeans and a blazer or perhaps linen trousers and trainers is your go-to. It's always really lovely to hear from you all. Now, as you saw in that last outfit idea, I often layer a couple of necklaces over my simple t-shirts. One to add another tone and texture, and two to elevate the look, but in a subtle fashion. As mentioned, Monica Vinida have kindly sponsored this portion of the video, and I chose four pieces from their new collection to try out. I must admit, it was really hard choosing the pieces. I'd have quite happily added the majority into my collection, but eventually I settled on pieces that I knew I could wear on repeat day in, day out. I do love my hooped earrings, so firstly I chose something along those lines, but just a little bit different. The gold vermeil looks like it's hammered, I hope that's the correct terminology, but that slightly unusual texture seems to make the gold glisten even more. Next I was after a layered necklace, something to wear with my everyday looks. So I went for this triple beaded version of choker, textured and rope chain. I love the simplicity of pieces like this. It feels luxurious, but not ostentatious which is definitely my perfect kind of style. I don't have many rings, but I do like to wear them more so in summer. So I chose this textured knotted version in gold for May. I quite like mixing my metals, so I like wearing it on this finger as a contrast to the platinum. And finally, I went for this stunning freshwater pearl bracelet in gold plated vermeil. Freshwater pearls have this distinctive rainbow sheen, and you can actually buy this pendant separately if you wanted to add it to a necklace instead. Monica Vinader actually studied fine arts in London before heading into jewellery design and eventually her own brand. Since 2020, all of her jewellery has been made using 100% recycled 18 karat gold vermeil, sterling silver and sustainably sourced natural gemstones, diamonds and pearls. 
In short, she has a beautiful collection. I love the designs and I think the quality is stunning. If you are wanting to treat yourself or perhaps somebody else for Mother's Day, as you'd hope, I do have a discount code for you all. I've added that plus a link to her collection in the description box below for you to take a look at at the end of this video. If I'm going to do the cutout fashion trend for spring summer, it's going to be with something like this. One simple cotton jersey maxi with a minimal cutout detail across the neckline. Which, I must admit, I got in a complete tangle trying to do up, but I like it all the same. Layered with this light olive blazer brings the outfit back into the realm of relaxed but elevated. And it's a look I'd reach for on warmer spring days. To make this dress feel even more subtle and effortlessly chic, I've added flat sandals. In fact, I would rarely wear a dress like this with heels. I much prefer that high-low contrast. Dresses and blazers often work really well. It's an easy fix when you don't know what to wear and with two simple pieces, you're good to go. How to style blazers? If in doubt, add stripes. That's always a winner in my book. And again, it's something I'm imagining you will already have in your wardrobe already. If, however, you're in the market for a new one, this one is new in my wardrobe and I love the fit. I particularly like navy stripes sat against camel. I think it adds a softness to the harsher stripes and obviously it feels a little bit Parisian as well, which is never a bad idea. In this second option with this blazer, I wanted to show you just how good I was at catching. <laughs> no, I actually wanted to show you how lovely this toner blazer works against that darker denim too. Now like that Breton stripe, these jeans are from a brand called Eleven Loves, who I had the great pleasure of doing a shoot for recently. The high waist feels really flattering and I've been styling them both with a bit of a turn up and leaving them down like this. Overall, the outfit feels a little bit smarter and just as easy and comfortable to wear. Another very easy trick to change up your blazer outfits would be to add a belt. This adds interest, but it also has an added bonus of defining your waist a little bit more, which I'm never one to complain about. I will add, however, that this look doesn't work with all of my blazers that I have. Sometimes it looks a little bit, I don't know, a bit try hard, which I'm not keen on. So I think it's really about a lot of trial and error with this. Stand in front of the mirror and try a belt over the top of some of your favorite blazers. There will definitely be one in there where it works beautifully, but there's probably also a couple that you think, mm, not really sure if that's working. If it feels natural and you feel comfortable and you feel like it's flattering, chances are it probably looks it. So I would definitely recommend listening to your gut with this one. This vibe would also work really nicely with some of these minimalist maxi skirts that we're going to be seeing for 2022. Or maybe just a simple midi like this one that I found recently at And Other Stories. But that straight leg feels like it works best for this more streamlined look. Either way, I would highly recommend giving the belt and the blazer look a try. When you happen upon the perfect combo, it's another easy look that you can mix in to your weekly outfit ideas. Which neatly brings me to my next outfit idea with this beautiful maxi skirt that I'm very happy to have back in my wardrobe for another spring summer. Have I mentioned how glad I am? It's finally spring. I think we all needed that, didn't we? Just to feel a bit of sun on my face and that smell of freshly cut grass as people start to mow their lawns again. I love it. It feels so good for your soul. So yes, getting my spring wardrobe back out again has felt therapeutic in more ways than one. But hopefully this outfit idea shows how nicely a blazer and a maxi skirt actually go together. As it gets warmer and you're ready to brave your toes, I thought this look would work beautifully with sandals too. Now you could either go with something strappy and feminine like these cult gaya ones that I found, or the other end of the scale with something a little more chunky. I found these that I liked at Flattered, which is a brand that I've bought from a couple of times before and can definitely vouch for their quality. But while it's it's still a little bit fresh outside, another alternative on your styling would be layering. Something that I think is often forgotten when it comes to blazers, but it definitely shouldn't be underestimated. Don't forget that blazers are often just a thin layer of fabric, so it's fairly easy to layer a wool coat over the top and not feel like you're rocking the Michelin Man look. Far from it, actually. It adds another texture and tone, and aside from being practical, it elevates the outfit even further.
Can you tell these trousers have fast become a bit of a favorite for me in my wardrobe? I have definitely been wearing them on repeat since I bought them. And styled with this gray blazer is one of my favorite ways to wear them. Funnily enough, the trousers and blazer, though they look like they're a perfect match, are actually bought from two different brands. The joy of a blazer for me really lies in their versatility. Find yourself a good one in a beautiful fabric, in a tone that you love and you wear a lot, and you'll find you'll be able to mix and match it into so many different outfit ideas. And though I often reach for a blazer to elevate a laid back look, hopefully this outfit idea is a good example of how you can style it suited, but with a fresh and modern take. Now in stark contrast to that last look, this next outfit idea is super casual, so much so I'm actually wearing a hoodie that I borrowed from my teenage son. But I really wanted to share just how adding a beautiful blazer into the mix can completely pull an outfit idea together. So as mentioned, this is my boy Albert's hoodie paired with my Everlane joggers in light gray. I've added my new in neutral trainers, which I have to say are incredibly comfy to wear and finished with my new favorite sunglasses. The addition of the blazer takes this somewhat chilled outfit up a notch or five and turns it into something much more in keeping with how I like to dress. But very much on those days when I'm time poor and I'm running out the door. I then added another element into the mix with this beautiful scarf. Now I find these tonal looks work the best when you have a variety of textures. So the cotton hoodie against the wool on the blazer and then the knitted cashmere scarf. You don't need to do cashmere yourself obviously, but I would bear in mind the fabrics you do add in if you could mix it up a bit, so cottons and linens, viscose, wool, etc., I think it does add more interest into your looks. White on white, but do it with a blazer. Yes, I know, total impracticality with children, but I love it regardless. So I'm going to continue championing this trend. This blazer is actually a few seasons old, but I've linked a few similar favorites new in on the high street in the description box below for you to take a look after this video. So firstly, I've started with loafers for daytime chic, and secondly, I'm throwing my shoes again to share something a little bit more dressed up. I think the main thing that I love about this outfit is the contrast of that linen jacket sat against the silk. It's one of my favorite fabric combinations that I don't think I will ever get bored of. It feels elegant, sophisticated and chic, and yet with so many beautiful options across the high street, it's really easy to emulate the look. How to style blazers and look effortlessly chic isn't exactly rocket science, and it doesn't have to cost the earth either. Hopefully these blazer outfit ideas have given you lots of inspiration of how to style yours and I'm really looking forward to hearing your favorite look in the comments section below. As always, I will be there right now answering your lovely comments. So if you do have any styling questions, do write them there in the comments section and I'm only too happy to help if I can. I shall be back next week with lots more styling advice and fashion tips to keep you all feeling stylish, put together and chic for the season ahead. Have a wonderful week everyone and I'm looking forward to seeing you then. Take care.